Hello, I'm back with another update. I went to see my orthodontist yesterday afternoon and um, I was kind of disappointed to be honest because my canines are starting to, well, not starting to, but they're still not tracking, but in the beginning it was a small amount, but we just kept going and um, over time it's just gotten worse. So yesterday when he saw it, he was like, what are we going to do? And um, he gave me the option of coming back in a month and rescanning or I'm on tray 17 and he said at tray 29 is when I would be done with this set and everything else is passive aligners. So he said I could go all the way to 29 and then I could get scanned again at that point and then I would have passive aligners to tie me over until the new um, trays came in. And I was like, well, I've been at this for over, what, like, it's been 19 months now. Um, so let's not wait. <laughs> I mean, because essentially the canines are really all that's moving. I mean, other small things are happening, but it's really the canines that we're focused on. So I don't know why I would waste three months just to have passive aligners when I could have the same tray that, you know, I mean, it might, he said it would get grungy, but I, I mean, this would be my third rescan and I haven't had a grungy tray yet. Um, and honestly, like the break that you get between, you know, the rescan and then the trays coming in is kind of nice. So, I mean, you don't wear it as much anyway. Um, so I was like, yeah, definitely rescan me sooner than later because I, I want to be done with this. Um, and at this point, I really want him to pull out what he called the trick in his back pocket, which is the whole bootstrap thing, you know, where you get like an attachment on the top, an attachment on behind, and then you put a rubber band on there so that the tray is totally snug to the tooth and then the tooth comes down. Um, so I don't know why we wouldn't have done it by now I guess he's really just trying to push the trays to see what they'll do but I don't really want to be a guinea pig I kind of just want to be done um, so that's what's happening in four weeks I'm gonna go back and get scanned again um, he also did IPR yesterday he did a lot of IPR and up until this point IPR has been like no big deal to me it's just been you know a little bit of shaving here a little bit of shaving there and it's over but yesterday he shaved in between every single one of my front teeth every single one of them and I was just like cringing in the chair just hoping that he would be done because it just uh, it was just a lot so I can only imagine what like getting your attachments off like all of them off at the same time would feel like it would probably be the equivalent of that or probably worse because I have a lot of attachments um, so now I have spaces in between all my teeth and he gave me four trays. So I don't know if the trays are actually supposed to close these gaps or not, but he said, you know, we're doing it to get rid of the triangles, which the only really noticeable one I thought I had was in between these two, um, but he did it between all of them. So I guess I was wrong, uh, but I guess I'll show you my teeth now. Um, everything's sort of the same as last time, it's just my canines are a little bit lower than they were and the front teeth have been sort of brought down uh, and my two front teeth aren't as uneven as they were before. That's essentially it. <laughs> the bottoms are still straight. Uh, I think a little bit of movement in the molars has been going on but I don't really care about that because my bite is back where it should be. So here they are. There's the gap. Yep, just waiting on those canines. So I will be back to update in, well, I don't know if I'll update in four weeks because all they're going to be doing is rescanning. So I guess we'll see how it goes and then I'll be back whenever. So see you then. Bye.